Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be talking about the Data Color Spider X or 10. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but you know what? This thing will calibrate your monitor so that it looks amazing when you do color corrections on big music videos like this one that we're working on. Okay guys, so we're gonna start calibrating our monitor. I do wanna mention a few things. One of them being that we are doing this daylight. We also have lights on me so that you guys can physically see me as I'm talking. You don't wanna do that. That is actually going to mess our color calibration up. We're gonna go back and recalibrate this in a few hours when it's dark and we don't have any light except what's coming from the monitor. Another thing to mention is there is actually a way to color calibrate all of your monitors so that it is close as possible on the calibration for each individual monitor and that they work with each other. Um, we're just gonna do a single monitor today. So if you do want us to make a video on doing multiple monitors and how to calibrate them all together, leave a comment down below. And if we get enough people interested, we'll go through and we'll make another video. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna open up the software. We also wanna make sure our calibrator is actually plugged in. And they do suggest that you plug it directly into the computer itself. We have it plugged into a USB port because it won't reach the computer because the computer is not right next to all the monitors. So that's just one thing to mention for you guys. So let's go on and start calibrating it. So we're going to do a single monitor right now. You also can do printer, soft proofing, and mobile tablet simulation, which is great, but we're not going to go through that today. So we're going to hit next. We want to make sure our monitor's warmed up, that as far as light conditions, there's as little light coming in um, that can affect the actual sensor here at the bottom, which is going to be somewhat affected today uh, because we have so much light coming in on me and everything around. So again, you want this to be as dark as possible and just have your monitor on. Uh, we have our display controls and then our spider connector. And yes, our spider is connected to the computer, so we're good in that aspect. So we're gonna go on and hit next again. Uh, so we have a standard LED. You do have multiple options here. Wide LED is gonna be a more expensive, nicer LED. Um, so you may wanna look that up, but we know ours is standard and we don't have the general or the GB LED. And most people are just gonna go on and click standard LED because that's probably what you have. Um, so you have the studio match, which we're not going to go through today. And then we have our expert controls, which honestly, I'm no expert. So I'm not even going to try to go in there at the moment. Um, we're just going to do a step-by-step -step assistant, really easy to do for a single calibration. Uh, we're going to do a full calibration. Um, so if you're recalibrating a monitor, then uh, this is what you would select. Um, so we're going to do, and we'll do a full calibration again tonight once we recalibrate all this. We do want to keep our gamma at 2.2 as it's recommended. I find that to be work very well. If you know uh, something specifically about your monitor and gamma, uh, same thing with the white point here, we're going to keep it at 65K. Then you can go in and change those options, as you can see. But we're going to leave them as is. And then brightness, I like it at 120. Uh, something to mention is there's a very good chance that you are actually going to have to bring the uh, brightness down on your monitor so it will take your eyes a second to adjust and get used to having those I guess less bright monitor however your colors are going to be way more true um, far as your calibration they're going to be more accurate and that's what we want so we've got all that set up we're going to hit next now we're going to hit ok and it's going to ask us to put our spider here so uh, we have this piece right here as you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this behind like this and i'm actually going to physically hold the spider here if you do that which there's nothing wrong with doing that however make sure you're not pressing really tightly really heavily into the monitor because you don't want to damage it so i'm going to hold it very lightly so it stays on there however um i am not going to be pushing it real heavily in there so i'm just going to put it here and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit next again and now don't, don't move this at all. I'm gonna hold it in place and it's gonna go through and start reading the colors and calibrating your monitor. You are gonna to have to make some changes. Um, so according to this, and we've already calibrated this, so this should be accurate right now, but it is not. According to this, this monitor is actually too bright. It probably is not too bright. It's just all the light that's coming in on top of me while we're trying to calibrate it. So you would go into your settings and what you, if you see this little green, and I'm gonna bring the mouse over here, but if you see this little green spot right here, it's saying that the monitor is too bright. So you wanna go into your monitor settings, 
your menus, menu or settings, and you want to bring the brightness down. So what we would do is we bring the brightness down till it's within this green bar right here. And as long as it's at the beginning or end of it, I like to keep it right at the end because I like my monitor to be brighter than less bright. Then you would click update. Once we click update, we would hit continue. So since it's not within the spectrum, we're, I'm going to go into the menu settings and I'm actually going to change the brightness of the monitor right now. So if you notice the little green bar, we've got it within that, within that area they like it to. So now I can hit continue and it's going to go back through and do the rest of the calibration right now. It takes, you know, two or three minutes, so it doesn't take a terribly long time. And we are getting close to the end here. Again, don't be pressing your, your spider checker too deeply into the monitor. We don't want to damage the monitor. I've also done it where I put the monitor um, on, it, on its back, and I've just let it sit there as well. So we're going to hit finish. Okay, so now I'm going to take this off right here. Set it to the side. And this, I've already labeled this monitor as the lower monitor because we have four different monitors, so I want to know which one I'm working with. Uh, now, calibration reminder. Over time, your monitor can change its calibration and you might need to recalibrate it. I like to do that every two to three months. So I'm going to put three months in right here to remind me that it needs a calibration in three months, and then I'll go back and recalibrate it. As well as I'm going to save these settings. So we'll hit save here. And we'll hit OK, OK, and we're going to hit Next. Now you can go through and see the uh, spider tone and the spider proof here. So we can switch between these to see the difference in color. So we can see if we calibrated it right and we like what we did. I'm going to tell you right now, it is way too blue and white for me. Um, that's for the simple fact that I think too much light was interfering due to the fact that I have light on me. I have light on me here. I have light on me in multiple places. I have light on me from, you would want to turn all four or all three of these monitors off right here and just leave this one monitor on. So we will again, go back. We'll turn off all these monitors, turn off all the lights uh, as soon as it gets dark here in a few hours. And we'll go back and recalibrate this so that our color is accurate. Because if we went in and started editing right now, our colors would not look the way they should be because the monitor is not actually properly calibrated. So just remember, you want to do this in as dark an environment as possible if, that, if that's something that you can do. So once we've done that, we're going to hit next. Um, and then you can actually look at the different spectrums, um, sRGB, NT, SC, R, uh, Adobe RGB, and P3. And you can actually see how many different variations of colors in each one of these. Um, so for our monitor, we are uh, around sRGB. We're a little bit bigger than us, or a little bit under sRGB colors. And, uh, and then you can kind of look at the different spectrums. If it's Adobe RGB, by the way, you want to use Adobe RGB when it comes to shooting film or video with your camera because it's going to give you more color variations. So there's more different shades of green or more different shades of red. Um, it, it has a larger spectrum of color. So um, this monitor, however, its spectrum is right around the sRGB limit. So if I did shoot Adobe RGB, the monitor is only going to be able to show sRGB, and my eyes can only see up to a certain amount of that calibration anyways. So then we'll just hit quit, quit here, and next, and we are finished. We're good to go. And that is how you calibrate your monitor. Let's go. There you go. That is how you calibrate your monitor. Very easy. Just make sure it is as dark as possible when you do it. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn about this that we didn't talk about today, leave a comment down below. Send us an email, mediaunlock101 at gmail.com. And, you know, we'll catch you next time.